of the reasons this awesome undertaking in Spain is a landmark is the fact that it exists in spite of the attitude of many in its surrounding community. They treat it as meaningless. Not that that worries the man behind the project. Justo Galigo has been building what he calls a cathedral, single-handedly, for the last 40 years. This is no traditional cathedral. And Justo is neither a qualified architect, nor engineer, nor bricklayer. He's a farmer. Nor does he have formal planning permission from the authorities of Mayorada del Campo, the town in which it is located, 20 kilometers from Madrid. The plans have only ever existed in my head, he says, and they have evolved over time in response to opportunity and inspiration. I was inspired by many things. I was inspired by my mother who taught me to love the church. I was inspired by Christ. Being sons of light, we have to love Christ with devotion, and I followed that principle. That's how I began this project. At this stage, the cathedral reaches to a height of 35 metres at its highest point. But when finished, it will soar to 55 metres. The building sits on an 8,000 square metre plot of land and, but for a bishop, has all the trappings of a cathedral, cloisters, a sacristy, parish meeting rooms, a baptism chapel, a library, and an arch-lined gallery that looks down on the unfinished nave. With its columns, arches and dome, Galigo describes the building, for which no blueprints or sketches have ever been made, as Greco-Romanesque. The construction has been undertaken with no official funding. <laughs> Most of the materials used are recycled, occasionally obtained from business and construction companies with excess materials for a job. Progress is therefore visibly marked by the nature and quality of what Galigo has been able to acquire along the way. The builder wants his windows filled with stained glass, but is looking to do it on the cheap, using two tons of glass donated by some German tourists. This most unorthodox of churches attracts coachloads of tourists. But as much as the building draws the admiration of those watching, so too does the spirit of Don Justo, who shows no signs of tiredness as he continues to pursue his passion. No, no, no. Tiredness? No. As a Christian, I can't do that. I do get tired, but I remember that Christ says that those who put the tools aside and walk away don't have rights to heaven. I work with passion. Don Justo Galigo may be a man before his time. Huddled in two old coats by a bonfire in the nave, his face grubby and his cheeks hollow, the 80-year-old former monk is sometimes compared to Catalan architect Antoni Gaudi, creator of Barcelona's unfinished Sagrada Familia Church, in part because in Gaudi's final days he was mistaken for a tramp. The comparison is helped by the church's address, number 10 Antoni Gaudi Street. Galigo is realistic about the future. I am already very happy. If I can do more, I'll be happier. But with what I have already done, it's enough. We are going to try to finish it, but that is going to be too much for me. It will cost a lot of money that I don't have. Questions have been raised concerning its foundations and bracings, and nobody wants to be responsible for its structural integrity. Given the lack of official support and the value of the land on which it is located, Don Justo is aware that the cathedral may be raised immediately after his death.